Well, here I am. I took my glasses off so you could see my eyes, but it's just so bright. <laughs> I, uh, I'm out for my morning walk. I've been doing the morning walk uh, for only a few months now. I I've done walking for a long time, like during the pandemic, especially in the winter months of March through through April and then into the spring of the April, May, June, summertime. That's when I started to shift because I was doing night walks during the winter. <laughs> I would go out at like, I don't know, 10.30 or 11 at night in the dark and the snow and the ice and the cold. And I would just walk trying to figure out in my mind how to make this this thing work as far as my life and living and financial and uh, keep the kids, you know, somewhat engaged in school and and still doing well. But I I now go for morning walks and I love it. I actually wear this shirt, Mr. Rogers Neighborhood, and I wave to people as we pass and we stay socially distanced. But I wanted to just share about the life-changing effects of going for a daily walk. Uh, I think it's more mental and emotional, maybe spiritual than anything else because uh, obviously I get physical benefits from it, but that's secondary. It's become a thing where I go for between three, four miles in the morning to get my day started. And it makes me happy and uh, helps me gather my thoughts for the day. I'm sure you have a practice like this where, whether it's even for five minutes, you know, just trying to get your your day started with meditation or you know, a good little dance around with the music or hanging out with the kids as they're getting ready for either going off to school or for homeschool to begin. And so I'm just so grateful for this practice that I've promised myself I would do. And, and it started to be this thing where I couldn't even go through a day without it. And I hurt my back a few weeks ago and like in a bad way where most people don't know this, but when I launched my book a few weeks ago, it was right around that time. So obviously it was a little bit of stress, but also with the physical thing that I hurt myself. And I did the whole book launch from my bed, <laughs> laying on my back, trying to do stretches to be able to just do anything. I, I was suffering through each and every podcast interview where I had to stand. It was just horrific. It hurt so much. And I couldn't walk for that week. I couldn't even walk um, out the door like it was that bad. And I really miss these walks, you know. These daily walks are very powerful for me. And so, for yourself, what might it be? That thing which gets your day started. Um, sometimes I, I get out here before the sun has risen. Other times, a little bit later. Today, I woke up quite early and read the good book. And then I, I woke up the children one by one for their different times for school. And then I took my youngest boy out to the playground where he wanted to show me some of the cool tricks he's learned, which he's so talented and athletic. It was awesome. And now I'm on my late morning walk with the sun right in my face and eyes. So I'm still keeping that promise, even though I have a lot of appointments today as I look at my phone and my clock. Yeah, I've got to get back. But I'm grateful for this practice. What's a practice you've put into play that you've maybe started to implement? Because I know I used to go do a workout or a walk before the pandemic. It was very inconsistent. Now it's become a daily practice. And I know that inconsistency is our, is our worst enemy. <laughs> and so... If we can be consistent in our great commitments and our promises, then our lives will change, and mine has with this practice. So, how do I do it? Well, I, uh, I kind of at this point, I don't even decide to do it. I just do it because it's become intrinsically a part of what makes the day good. But it starts with putting your shoes on. I know that sounds silly, but if you wake up and you put your shoes on, obviously with your walking outfit or your workout. If you put those shoes on, you're most likely gonna go. The other important thing is not to allow the emails and the other to-do lists of everyone else to get too bogged down in your queue that you can't go and leave 
sometimes before the walk I have to check the emails just to make sure I don't have a fire to put out and then I go um, other days I I have to put some fires out a walk comes later but having that practice of doing my best to not be consumed by emails by the news by social media if I check social media in the morning I don't know there's just something really bad about it I I get sucked into that world so making the commitment to not check it and to just go go on that walk every day even if it's for five minutes around the block and uh, even if it's you know you're injured and you're not feeling so great you're broken back or whatever I did to myself it's not broken but it feels like uh, just slow slow walks until finally I'm able to walk the full distance that I want to again so just little simple things it's our best way of keeping the promise what are some that you're doing and changing and have come to pass during this quarantine and pandemic time I want to know because September we have new promises to make and keep have a great week